welcome in this program we intend to divide the word of god in context i believe that the first program that we had where we introduced uh, about the word of god you must have got the got an idea of what the word of god is and how it came into existence in a nutshell su- su- summarizing it now in this program we we try to interpret or we we, we plan to we intend to do a, a bit of a deeper study into the word of god so let's move on to hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 where it speaks about the word of god and in fact we got our uh, name for this program from this particular verse it says like this for the word of god is living and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart the word of god here it says the word of god is living and then it says the word of god is powerful and thirdly it says the word of god is sharp sharper than any any two edged sword and also it says that word of god is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart so we are going to look at one by one how the word of god is a, a living word how can it be living why do we say that it's a living word when you say living it means it addresses to the present day though it was written many years ago some as far as 3500 years back but it still speaks to us today to our situations in the 21st century to our life today it gives us advice and admonition and it encourages us and that is why we say the word of god is living this bible we say we call it a living bible because it speaks and it's not only the word speaks when we read it the the holy spirit who is a author of this word who is the author of the bible who who uh, 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 divinely inspired people to write the word that was spoken by god that same spirit speaks to us to our spirits when we read the word of god so if you are a christian if you are a believer in christ if you uh, have accepted jesus into your life as your savior then the holy spirit lives in you but if you are not still the holy spirit is with you and he wants you to read it and he the holy spirit the person holy spirit the person he will teach you things and make you understand so if you are a christian and i believe you are when you read the word when you read a portion of the word or a chapter or even a verse sometimes all of a sudden it pops up and it gives a message and it speaks to you to your present situation whatever the situation that you are facing that's why we call it the living word the word of god is living and also it says the word of god is powerful powerful we know in the beginning the book of genesis the first chapter we see god speaks a word he says let there be light and once that word goes out of the mouth of god it when it goes out the moment it went off the mouth what happened was there was light and there was matter created why the word of god and that is why it says powerful and also not only that when we speak the word of god into the atmosphere 
and you, you, you will understand this as we go on, uh, the, 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 the doctrines and the principles of uh, uh, the word of God and uh, the message of the Lord and uh, the doctrines of the Bible. Uh, there are dark forces around us. And these dark forces are not subjected to anything but the word of God. That is why we say the word of God is powerful. Right? And also it says the word of God is sharp. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. And that's why we, we took that name into this program, a two-edged sword. Because it cuts both ways. You can say that it cuts the person who is speaking and speaking to both edges. And also, the writer of the Hebrew says, it's so sharp, it even pierces the division of the soul and the spirit. Now, to explain that, it takes a little time. Because soul and the spirit is one unit in a sense. And it's a spiritual unit. And, and, and it is in us. And we all know that we have a body that is flesh. We also have a soul and a spirit which we cannot touch. But it is there. But the soul and the spirit is one unit. But you can, you can identify it separately. But you can never separate it. But only thing that separates the soul and the spirit. Dividing or piercing the spirit and the soul is the word of God. Because when we speak the word of God, it is so sharp, you can identify the soul and the spirit separately. Right? And if you, if you stay with us continuously, we will let you know, we will tell you how to do that. We will tell you how it happens. And also, this verse says, the word of God is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. We know that we have a heart. It's not the, 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 uh, the pumping, the, the blood pumping organ that we have in our body. It talks about a spiritual entity, the heart, the thoughts, the intents are in our heart. So this word of God is a discerner, it discerns what you're thinking. And it's, it shows to you, if you're honest enough to understand it or accept it, it shows you, it exposes you, the real you. Because when you compare your thoughts with the word of God, what happens is it exposes the hidden thoughts in your heart. That's why it says, it's a discerner of the intents of the heart and also the thoughts. And I hope you are encouraged to read the word of God so that you can align yourself in accordance with the word of God so that you can become a child of God, a true child of God. And our intention is to encourage you to read not only to read, but to understand the word of God and apply it in your life. And I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed today's program. And we, we hope to meet you once again with this double-edged next time. God bless you.